Hey guys, uh, just want to make a quick video here uh, to go over those review questions I sent out earlier this morning. Um, first one is, uh, what is a right cone? So a right cone is going to be a cone where its apex is on center of its base. Right? Apex on center of the base. And uh, question number two, uh, what is a scalene or oblique cone? Uh, that's going to be one where the apex is off center of its base. So the apex would be outside of the, or off center of the base. Uh, what is a frustum of a cone? So a frustum of a cone is going to be uh, if there's a line parallel to the base, like that, this section right in here would be the frustum of a cone. Um, that, we went over that one pretty well in the classroom before. Just hopefully that's, uh, this is a, more of a reminder than anything. Um, <clears throat> so if a cone is cut on a miter, what shape will the bottom profile make? So again, if I had a cone and then I cut a miter on here, um, what, what shape would that profile make? So if I was to take that cone and turn it upwards, it would be an elongated circle uh, or an ellipse. So the right answer would be an ellipse for that one. Um, number five, where are the true lengths found on an elevation view of a cone? That's gonna be on either side of the cone. So this length here, or this length here, those are both true lengths. So there's only two of them on a cone and they're on either end. If you guys remember when we did uh, uh, the layout in the classroom for that uh, like roof jack, uh, when we brought all those divisions up and brought them to the apex, where they intersected this miter here, we had to bring them over to the outside line to make them true lengths, if you guys remember that. So right here, right here, true lengths. Uh, let's see, uh, number six, when laying out a cone pattern, what is the radius to the swing? Um, what is the radius to swing the base of the cone equal to? Um, so again, if I had a cone and I'm gonna swing that radius, this radius for the base here is equivalent to the slant length here, right? You guys remember that um, this outside edge here that's gonna be the radius for swinging the pattern so the slant length or slant height uh, number seven what is the slant length of a cone that has a 14 inch large diameter uh, a 7 inch small diameter and a height of 8 inches so let's just draw that out 7 inch 14 inch, eight inch diameter, or height, sorry. Um, so we have to figure out what the apex is first. Um, so that's, uh, what's the formula for that? Do you guys remember? Um, sorry, just one sec here.